Hi, this is James Melendez, James and Wine Guy here to share this bottle for you today. This is Del Carlo. It's Teldelshi Home Ranch Vineyard. This is Dry Creek Valley 2008 Vintage Old Vine Zinfandel. And here's the, uh, this logo here is an actual old vine on their property. And this is Ray and Lori uh, Teldelshi's property. Beautiful, beautiful piece of um, uh, vineyard land. And old vines is a major part of this vineyard and it's absolutely gorgeous now when you're there and you see old vine you you know i i'm not necessarily skeptical but i i think sometimes oh i don't know what that really means but now i know what it means i mean i've seen pictures i've seen it from a distance and now i've seen it up close and i appreciate the, the the gift that is in this bottle because to harvest from this is extremely difficult when you're on a trellis system it's it's not necessarily that it's easy to pick from, it's still laborious, it's hard work, it's heavy. Um, but, but to do this is, you know, you're, you're just trying to navigate it and understand where the fruit is, don't miss it, lift it on your head, 50 pounds. And um, when, when you see this in action, you appreciate wine much more so, at least I do. Not that I haven't appreciated wine, I became even more appreciative of all the wine that I consume. And to see this was just phenomenal. Now these old vines are approximately 100 years old. And I think that that is a, a true testament to Zinfandel. Zinfandel has survived prohibition, survived the downturn in uh, this country's history, in the U.S.'s history, and is able to produce some phenomenal wines, phenomenal fruit. And what I found is an event called Blog the Harvest, and it was there in Dry Creek. I was just stunned to see, you know, both the, the uh, to see a winemaker or a vineyard manager just sweat and not because of the heat but because of the war and the concern of, of things like is there a sprinkle in the air oh no what does this mean and then you see the end result of you know the finished bottle obviously but before then you see the fruit it's pristine it's beautiful it's you know almost every berry is perfect and that is how i came to just re-love winemaking again and re-love and, and just absolutely stunned and excited about it so if you ever get the chance to be in a wine country and doing, you know, having any chance to see um, picking and harvesting of grapes, I, I definitely recommend that because you will walk away differently, in my opinion. I did. Now, this is something that, that I woke up at about 3.45, I think 4 a.m. Uh, to go watch. I didn't have to do the work, and thank goodness, because these guys were working superbly hard. They were sweating at 4 a.m., and I thought, I don't know how this was ever done in the daytime, which it was done previously in the daytime. So thank goodness for, you know, bright lights and ability to pick early in the morning. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it is like. Beautiful wine, beautiful fruit. Now, there's so many people that, that I know say, oh, Zinfandel tastes like raisins, but that's not true. If you taste a well-crafted bottle, those raisins are picked out because ultimately a raisin is a raisin is a raisin. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It could come from a Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, or Zinfandel, and it's going to really color that wine in a way that's just raisin-oriented. So this wine is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, and has wonderful, delicate notes, even, and it's a sterling wine. And it really has just this um, complexity that is, is just beautiful dryness. Um, Montmorency cherry, give me some chocolate mint in this in this taste. Mexican vanilla, and I love the uh, autumnal notes in this in this wine. Some sagebrush, leather, rustic notes, and for me, it's it's just this really wonderful experience to see how I compare this with so many things. Zinfandel is one of these grapes that I think is, and I, I mentioned to a winemaker, not, not this winemaker, but another winemaker, and I said, you know, I think it's a great entrant wine. You can really start to fall in love with red wine, start at Zinfandel, but it's not just an entrant wine. It becomes something that is evolving over time and becomes something that you just need more of and appreciate all the Zinfandel that there is and the world-class winemaking skills that go into Zinfandel today. So don't think of it as a California phenomenon because it's not. It's a world-class wine. And it's something that because it doesn't have a French provenance doesn't mean it's not a world-class international wine. That's how I term this. And I've written a, a blog entry about this. Give this wine a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Flickr, 
and I think that's all the social media sites that I'm on, probably even more, but just those are my top um, social media sites. And uh, thank you for listening. Salud.